going on, everybody? It is Edison T. Crux. It is Pokemon Moon. Even though it's kind of kind of sunny out right now, it's kind of weird. I thought it was supposed to be dark. It's like I don't know, late morning my time, in real life time. So yeah, we are getting back to it. And first of all, before I get going, there are a couple of things I wanted to um, touch up on real quick. First of all, I realized I made a mistake on my layout. <laughs> There's no death counter, so I'm gonna fix that right now. That would have been way too ambitious to think there's not going to be need for that, right? I'm, it's the sad truth that I'm probably going to be using that a little too much. Um, and the other thing I wanted to touch base on is the sn the Munchlax and the Snorlaxium Z or whatever it is. Um, I did pre-order this game, which means that you get that special Munchlax. And um, I will be using it in this playthrough. Uh, probably, I already went through and did the Mystery Gift thing off camera here. Um, I will be using that Munchlax, um, and it's not going to count as far as, like, what Encounter does. I have always kind of played under a rule in Nuzlocks and Wedlocks and such, um, where event or, like, gift Pokemon, like, say, like, I don't know, you know, Bill gives you an Eevee or whatever, I don't really count that as, like, that's this area's Encounter. So the same thing with this Munchlax, I don't count that as a specific area's Encounter, it's kind of falls under a gift rule. You might not like playing that way. You might. I don't really know. That's how I like to play. And, you know, that's just how it is. And honestly, since I'm doing this blind, I'm doing my first ever wedlock, I'm going to need all the help I can get, which also means that um, someone else also brought up a really good point in the last uh, episode. Oh, this is looking cool. About using the Pokemon Refresh or whatever. How that can really give you quite an advantage, and some people don't use it. I am not going to restrict myself on that. I might not use it a ton. I don't really know yet. But I am planning to use it, just because I've got so much other stuff stacked against me that I will take the advantages where I can get them. The Alola region is, is made up of four islands. It's the Big Kakuna, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Oh, our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing that you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Man, no one really, no one really celebrates that big when it comes to these Pokemon, man. Yikes! Yikes! Let's see, Ike Town, place for Pokemon gift thanks. Very cool. Yeah. You treat your Pokemon wrong, Guardian D will strike you down with lightning. But the children all laugh when I tell them that. <laughs> that that Guardian Pokemon's no uh, no joke, man. No joke. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick little gander through houses. That's something I don't often do. Like I remember in my Fire Red, people always told me, "Hey, you gotta kind of go in and talk to people." But I I don't usually do that, so I'm gonna try to um make a better habit of checking houses and such. I might not read out all the dialogue, but it. Particularly this being a new game, I'm doing blind, so I'm not going to be checking, like, if specifically any house has anything I need. Um, and don't tell me, again, if you're commenting. Um, I love the comments. Love them, love them, love them. But I don't want uh, spoilers. So that, that includes tips like, hey, in that house there's a thing you can get. Uh, let me find it on my own, please. I appreciate it. But please get, leave those comments, because I do love them. I do love them, because it's so fun. And I, I respond to them pretty often, too. I like, I like to respond back to comments. Not all YouTubers get the chance to do that, because they get so many comments that they just couldn't. But I like to. And I am not such a big YouTuber that I am not able to respond to comments. So I'm able to respond to most of them. So leave them. Alright, so looks like nothing too crazy going on here. Um, and this looks like my rival guy. Is he my rival? I think he's my rival. My rival how? How you doing? Yo, how's it, Edison? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Raul have been waiting for ages. <laughs> Whoo! Do I have to battle him? I don't know if I'm ready for that. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? It's Kaku. Oh, man, it's a girl. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Pew, pew! <laughs> it's shooting out from the from there. Just go, ducking up from the cover going, pew, pew! pew. <laughs> a full-powered festival for Pokemon battling! We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! <laughs> so you will um so you two will be taking part in the battle? 
I don't like seeing Pokémon fight one another, since they so often get end up getting hurt. But it seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Alright. You better watch us. <laughs> Your Pokémon have fought for you, so show them some care in return, Edison. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Oh, hey, thanks. That's actually super helpful. <laughs> I was hoping someone would do that. Are you ready for this Pokémon battle? Okay, <laughs> I guess as ready as I'm gonna be. Then let's begin! Who, who's fighting? Who's fighting here? I, I, I hope this isn't too hard. This is just the beginning of the game. Like, I don't want to wipe out quite yet. I just started, guys. For all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection. For them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tabu Koko. Before you stand, before you stands How, grandson to the Kakuna. Yeah, woo, how's it, woo, woo. Before him stands Edison, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Yeah, Edison, Edison. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, ah, that's just typical of it. Hi, Mom. Metapod, take care of my little Edison. That's cool, it says the Pokemon that's in front. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Oh, man. Edison, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Oh, man, I'm nervous, dude. This seems like they're really amping this up to be a thing. But, I mean, I'm hoping it's not too hard. I only just started. But he's got two Pokemon. I've got two Pokemon. I think we'll be okay. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I still got potions, right? And they healed me up, so I mean, unless his levels are just crazy. Okay, that's kind of high level. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of high level. Um, shoot. Let's tackle. Tackle it! Charm. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. What are you doing? What you doing? Attack harshly fell. It's not good, because I don't think Metapod has that good at attack anyway. Yeah, that's not really gonna help me much, is it? Not really gonna help me much. All right. Schrodinger! It's all you, buddy. I think you're gonna have to pull this battle, honestly. I think you're gonna have to be the one to do this. Fisher will be lovely as she levels up more, but I just think that she needs a little more time before she's ready to pull her own here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Let's ember this thing. With any luck, that should put some good damage on this guy. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't... Okay, tail whip. That lowers defense, right? Uh, I don't like my defense being lowered, but if I can get rid of this Pichu, he should just have his Rowlet, which should be a one-hit KO, unless it's gotten crazy buffed up between now and last time I saw it. I mean, I'm sure it's gained some experience, but... Um, Rowlet. Switch Pokemon? No, I'm not switching Pokemon. Um, okay, level 7. Okay, that thing should... Drop like it's nothing. Super effective. I love that it shows that. That's really cool. That's really cool. You know, particularly for me who can't remember the type chart for nothing. Okay, Leafage. <laughs> Leafage has a great name. Oh, uh, that's okay. I really don't like getting critical hits like that. Okay, so that did that did ten damage. So even if it gets another critical hit, I will survive. So I'm just gonna finish this thing off. It didn't do. It didn't do enough that it would, you know. I bet it's because I lowered my defense. That's probably it, because it's probably physical. That's my guess. That's my guess why I did that much. Of course, also, it got a critical, so it's just bound to happen, right? Schrodinger's level 10. Fantastic. Fantastic. I gotta remember to keep my levels up higher than I normally would, because it is a wedlock. And right now, it's not that big a deal, because we've only got two Pokemon. But later on, that's really going to make it harder. Whee! Another great battle this year! I bet Tapu Koko liked it too! Phew! That was awesome, Edison! That was a really great battle! I had a blast fighting you! That was awesome! I loved kicking your butt! It was a good battle with this even Tapu Koko! Go, go, go! Are you, co are you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? For Tapu Coco Puffs? <laughs> Tapu Coco Puffs. That might have to be the episode name. Oh, you heard of it yourself. Tapu Coco's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this, Edison. What is it? What you got for me? Some more bling? Oh, is it that bling I gave you the other day? 
Nice! Go, go, Power Rangers! The Z-Ring anime. That's not a ring, that's a wrist bracelet thing. But okay, I'll t actually, we can call it a ring if it makes you happy. Whatever. <laughs> Your Z-Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z-Power! They're mighty morphin Z powers. We Kakunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Although, until you collect more Z crystals during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw the Z power of your Pokemon. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out of here and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. The island challenge? Every island? I just wanted a Pokemon to hang out with me, dude. I didn't mean want to do any island challenge. Four islands! Four islands! <laughs> you'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. Wait, I didn't sign up for this, guys. I just wanted a Pokemon just to kind of battle how and learn how to talk to girls, you know? The Island Challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The Island Challenge Champion! Woo! Yeah! What? Where's all the yak, Kakui? Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. Alright. <laughs> you guys just signed me up for it, but you'll tell me what it is later. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I can live with that, I guess. <laughs> Aww. Uh-oh. She's looking at me. She's gonna talk to me. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? Um... You're amazing? Oh, that's too forward. I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. <laughs> pew pew! Ah! We're under fire! Me too. Oh, I, I was gonna say, oh yeah! It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. Um... 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 I don't know how to respond. Suppose it's time we get you kids home. Yeah! Then I suppose this is goodbye. Um, b b b bye I don't... I, I, I'm awkward. I'm awkward. Honey, I'm home! Mwah! Who's she talking to? Do I have a dad? I don't think I have a dad. Oh, Edison, you're back out... <laughs> Was she actually saying, Honey, I'm home to the meow? That's hilarious. I thought you'd want to stay in Ike Town longer. Dramatic scene. Especially right after that great battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie, you get some sleep too. I like that the mom in this actually has like some personality. Like, I guess they kind of tried in X and Y that she was some kind of Rhyhorn racer, but I don't know. Didn't really seem quite that interesting. The next day. Dawn of the next day. <sighs> what beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. Oh, more boxes! A visitor! If it's Kikui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. Just kick open the door and go, Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, oh yeah! Well, let's go see if it's Kikui. Let's go see if it is him. I guess it's not him, because he would let himself in if it was him. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Um, okay, okay. Um, try to act natural. Oh, um, the professor said... Um, okay, just breathe, breathe, breathe. She's a girl. Hey there, hey there, Lily. Bring me that new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab, if you'll come with me. Um, it's, um, it's this way. Okay, just, just, um, Edison! Uh, hi, Mom. Um, you're standing too close to me. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. That's the point of pocket money, so you can spend it on silly things. Oh, well done, Ed Edison. You're already making friends, aren't you? I mean, she's a friend, and she's a girl, but, I mean, she's not a girl. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm awkward with girls. I can't do it. And what a cute little friend you found. Mom! Mom! <laughs> I knew a would be a great place for us. We just keep re meeting wonderful people here. M -m -m me Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. You know, I think she's just as awkward talking to me as I am talking to her. <laughs> I think that's very much, uh, 
Very true. Boom. <laughs> Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Metapod, and don't be gone too long. Her name's Fisher, but okay. You can just call her Metapod if that's all you want to do. I guess probably with all the inappropriate names people would give, it'd be silly if she said the actual, like, the nickname you have. You have a very nice mother, don't you? Um, so do you? No, that's not appropriate. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> we should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Um, okay. <laughs> awkward, awkward, awkward. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. What's down here? Oh, there she is. You can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says you can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Okay, so is this a new area? That's what I gotta figure. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? Uh, and about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. What? Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Pew, pew! It's a gun Pokemon. It can go pew, pew. Seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only Professor and Kakuna, Hala, and other people I trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Um, yes? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? Okay. I don't know if I could talk about it if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, so. I gotta figure. Uh-oh. It's a trainer. Alright, let me just figure quick. First of all, check out my Pokemon, I think, probably healed. Yeah. Okay, and I'll keep them set up like that, because Fisher needs some levels. But this is an area, and over here was Route 1. Please don't wander off. Oh, okay, she's gonna force me to. Um, but I'm pretty sure up there was Route 1. And this is somewhere that's not Route 1. So I think... I think this next area down here is considered another thing. That does the Pokedex tell me, because I don't want to mess this up. Um, Habitat unknown. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I think this area down here is another encounter zone. So, boom. Let's, let's try and see if we can take care of that. So... Yeah, um, Fisher up front would be the way to go. I have Pokeballs, right? Wait, that's... I don't need to save my game right now. I mean, it's good to do. It's a good habit to make, but that's not what I was looking for right now. All right, I've got ten, so I'm good. I'm good. So, I'm pretty confident I remember it showing a different route up there. So let's... let's catch a Pokemon, huh? Let's find our whatever this place is encounter. If this is not 100% correct, then... You know, that's cool. Alright, it's a Rattata, guys! It is a Rattata. That is pretty cool. Level 5 Rattata Tattata. Uh, do... I'm gonna... I, th I should be able to tackle it just fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. I wouldn't think so. Um, I doubt I would be able to knock it out in one hit. It's level 5. And that should increase my... Yeah, that's not gonna... <laughs> Honestly, I should probably... Put a little bit more damage on you. Put a little bit more damage on you, so it's a male Raditz. Fantastic. I'm already thinking, oh, that did a lot more damage than I was hoping it would do. I should probably... Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch out to Schrodinger, who can take some hits, and try and catch this thing. Hopefully, we won't have too much trouble. So yeah, if this isn't technically a different encounter, then I apologize. It's, it, honestly... It's best to just kind of mentally be ready that that happens sometimes with blind runs. They don't, you don't always know exactly what counts as what, and you know. So it's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure this is a different area, so I'm gonna count it. If I goofed, then I goofed, and that just that that's just part of the blind thing of it, I guess. It's not gonna be, <laughs> it's not that big a, in the big scope of things. It's not that big a deal, guys. Oh, and it's breaking out. I love this Alolan Raditz. It's so crazy looking. It's got its mustache. It's all ole. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Let's try another Pokeball. It did nine damage, so I mean, it shouldn't... Unless there's some kind of critical hit catastrophe, um, we should be okay. Come on, just catch. Don't make this tougher on me than it has to be. All right! Whew! <laughs> Rattata was caught. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely stuff. All right. We gained some experience. Always good. Always good. We need that. Radis's data was added to the Pokedex. 
<laughs> it looks so funny. It just looks funny. It's a lowland ratata. It's got its little mustache. See, when the sun goes down, it becomes active. It runs around in a chase for good food for the for the boss of its nest. Radicate. Radicate. Uh, of course I want to give a nickname. So, I've already got a pretty decent idea for what I want to nickname this one. Um, perfect nickname. I, th I think it fits. I mean, you know, they're, they're scientists. It's not like, because the naming theme is scientists, etc. Sometimes astronauts, whatever. So, I mean, obviously, it's not always going to be super, super appropriate. Not as appropriate as Schrodinger every time, obviously. But I want to name you Tyson, after Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is a very, very famous right now uh, science educator. He's got, like, you know, does the new cosmos, all that stuff. Cool dude. Cool dude. So, and I think he looked, this Radita looks like a Tyson. <laughs> so, fantastic. Fantastic. Tyson's been added to the party. So, so. Being a wedlock, that means that Tyson right now is what they call a lone wolf, which means that I cannot switch to him until he gets a partner. Can I go back and heal? That would really be handy if I can go sleep. Or is she going to yell at me for wandering off again, right? Um, so Tyson here is a lone wolf, so I cannot switch out to him until at, at all. Um... This is the first time, now that I have a third Pokemon, that the whole wedlock thing really matters. Fisher and Strondra can only switch with each other. And Tyson has no one he can switch with yet. He has no partner. So, training is going to be the challenge here. It's going to be a big challenge. I probably just won't really train him much until he's got a... Until I get another encounter and he can have a buddy. He can have a buddy. Because that's just asking for trouble. Alright. So, even though we have another Pokemon now... Um, Tyson's not going to be able to help in this battle because I'm... Man, he, he has a very short... He's very short-sighted. Let's go, kneecaps! But is that like your nick... Are you trying to come up with some kind of like clever nickname for me? Kneecaps? <laughs> oh, all right. Kneecaps. Let's go, kneecaps! <laughs> so, yeah. Grubbin. What is a grubbin? Oh, that thing's weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Even though I have another Pokemon won't really help me that much at the moment. Alright, I am going to keep the Switch training up because that's probably just what it's going to be for now. Um, I imagine Fisher, once she evolves, will be a lot better suited. Nice grip. That just sounds strong. Okay, it's not too bad, though. <laughs> not too bad. Let's ember this thing. Yeah. Man, this is... I'm a little bit nervous on this whole wedlock thing. That's why I say I'm going to be using advantages that I can get. I'm going to use that money slacks. I'm going to use things like the Pokemon Refresh or whatever. Um, oh, I brought to my knees. Your kneecaps, man. Because I will take any advantage that I can get. Because I'm going to need it. I am going to need it. All right, let's cruise on through here. Like I say, awakening. Awesome. Like I say, not going to... Oh, man, it's another trainer. All right, let's just keep doing this the way I've been doing it. It's as good as it's going to be. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. Uh, okay, um, Alola? Is that Aloha? Hi? Um, Lo? I, um, what's up? What's too forward? I don't know how to talk to lasses. <laughs> All right, Wingle. Is that part water? That could be... That could be not good. That's also part flying, which would definitely be not good. I don't know. Oh, this this actually could be... A, even though it's still only level 6, that could be a challenge if it's got a water type move. I hope... This doesn't go really bad. <laughs> I really hope this does not go too terribly bad. Supersonic. Alright, Schrodinger. Good job avoiding that attack, Schrodinger. Lovely stuff. Alright. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try Ember. Just because it's stab, and that's probably going to be handy. Even if it's water type. Yeah, it's not very effective. But it still did a good amount of damage. That's probably still my best bet. Probably better than Scratch. I gotta check what... Particularly now that my um, attack just dropped. I gotta see, though... I don't know if... Um, if Stratender is more special or, uh, or physical-based. So I gotta check that out. Gonna have to check that out. All right, let's try get through this. Work your way through the confusion. Good job, Shadender. You are a champ. 
I just noticed the little spiky things that kind of prickle up on his back when he attacks. That's really cool. That's really cool. Alright. Defeated last Madison. Huh, you're kind of strong, aren't you? Um, thanks, you too? <laughs> I don't know how to take compliments from girls well. <laughs> Alright. So, how did that go? Are we looking okay? Yeah, Shredder doesn't have too much damage on him. He should be fine. It's just a trainer tips thing. I don't usually need that. It's a beach. Long, I like long walks on the beach and and Pokemon trainers and. <laughs> All right. I think this is it. I think this is. Oh, yep. Pokemon Research Lab. This would be it. Um, hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> What's going on in there? Oh yeah, Rockruff! Let's go! Give it everything you've got! Um, is this a bad time? Should we come back later? My body is ready! Woo! -hoo! I think we should give him a minute. I... Ah, uh, there they go again. My, the Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. That's kind of disturbing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit uncomfortable walking in there. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. I don't want to walk in that house. I don't want to walk in that building. Don't make me walk in that building. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I just have washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. I really don't want to walk in that building. Please. I'm not good at mending clothes. Please, don't don't make me walk in that house. I don't want to know what's going on in there. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. No, no, I think we should leave before any more damage is done to my psyche. I don't want to know what the professor's doing in there. I really think he needs some privacy. I think he needs a minute. I think whatever him and that rock rough are doing, that's just that's their business. It's not none of mine. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, the fact that he doesn't wear a shirt under that lab coat is even more disturbing now. I really am having a hard time looking at Kakui anymore. Hey there, Edison! Thanks for getting him for me, Lily! That's a cool aquarium he has behind him, though. That's pretty neat. Of course, however I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Edison, let me see your Pokedex for a second. Yeah! Um, okay. Um, you might not be impressed. So what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's why I called you here, eh? Oh, that, that, I thought that was her. But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It... What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? Really? I know what a Rotom is, so I'm going to ask that. Really? Oh, I can tell you all about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residents and machines. It's the ghost of the machine. Yeah, buddy! And to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body, specially developed for it. Boom! A whole new way for Poke people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... That is... I actually gotta say, that's actually really kind of cool. That they have... Whoa. Whoa! That's a Rotom. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom! Here, boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Edison here a helping hand, yeah? <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. Boing! <laughs> I think that's actually really clever. I like the idea that you have a Rotom dex. And it smiles. Nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? See, Edison? Now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Thank you. <laughs> the voice of reason. And how is this going to help that he has a talking Pokedex? Edison hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him this special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, Rotom. 
Yeah! You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom. And if you give it a little tap, boop, boop, you can even check out the town map. Neat! Neat, neat. Oh, that's how. It's how. How's it going? Alola! The Salty Breeze song sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! <laughs> what was that about? Is that a loft? That's awesome! Everyone's all like totally digging Professor Kikui's pad. No, it's not. It's private. It's private. Don't go there. The professor has been kind to let me use it. If you see a person or Pokemon that needs help, you just help them. Right, Edison? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Edison, I'm leaving this... Oh, I keep thinking... Like, I see Lily move, and I'm thinking it's her talking, but it's not. So, Edison, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Edison. Yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. Alright, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. Yes, tell me about this. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge Champion. Woo! This guy's just like me, always going, woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. He uses a lot of exclamation marks. There are four main islands that make up Alola and a Kakuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kakuna as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. Edison, I want you and Metapo. What about uh, what about my starter? Just because you're in the front, to get out there and give it a shot. You're able to fully use your Pokemon's move in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon's strengths. Yeah. Then yeah, I'll do it. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I don't know about this. I'm awkward. Come on, you've got to do it. I don't have a choice. You did just come to Alola, yeah. So I guess it's hard for you to relate to our customs, huh? But as someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Let me put it to you this way, son. I really want to see you do this. It would be very bad for you to not do this. Come on, give it a shot, cuz. What's the worst that'll happen? Oh, I feel kind of pressure into this. <laughs> I feel like I don't really get a say in the matter. He's going to make me do it one way or another. Here, everyone on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Neat! Some bling! I like bling. Nice, I'll just put it on the backpack here and looking styling. Looking good. I got one for my Gramps, too. Alright then, Edison, you two, how? Get a move on! What? What? I don't want to do this! To the trainer's school, of course! You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling! It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge Champion, and the Trainer School is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The Island Challenge. So this is how people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Edison, yeah? Uh, no, I, I, I can take care of myself. I, until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Um, I, 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 I think I'll be okay. I, I don't really know if this is a good idea. I need, if you need some help, give me a little poke in the middle of my map, but not too hard. <laughs> That's great. So I got a Rotom Dex now. Let's check this thing out, see what it does. Boop. Pop it on. If you need some help, give me a little poke in the middle of my map, but not too hard. <laughs> cool. Neat. So I got a Rotom Dex and got some Pokemans. And we got a new addition to the team. We got Tyson here, who I have not yet had a chance to. I, I was going to check out the stats quick. Um, Tyson's got Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack. Very nice. Um, what was his, um, what is your nature, little friend? He is bold and very finicky. Bold and finicky. Lovely. I was going to check Chandra's stats. Where do I see those? Okay, there we go. Hey, I wasn't used to seeing them in that kind of... That, kind of like uh, octagon or whatever it is. All right, so attacks 18, special attack is 20. So he's a little bit more um, special oriented. Lovely, and yeah, your Fisher's attack is nothing to write home about. But that will change soon. I'll change soon because you only need two more levels. You should be leveling up or evolving. Fantabulous. So let's step outside. 
see if anything is going to jump out at us, as it often does. Alright, looks like we're actually in the clear, which means this is probably a perfect place to wrap up this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. I thought this was a lot of fun. I'm having fun adding some new Pokemon to the team, <laughs> and I personally find Kakui a little bit disturbing, but also pretty fun. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. I, it really helps me out. And leave some comments. Tell me what you're thinking. Leave some love. It's always appreciated. So <laughs> until next time, catch you later, everybody. Looking for what to watch next? Check out these suggested videos and playlists over here, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Nuzlocks, Let's Plays, and how-to videos. And of course, your support on Patreon is always tremendously helpful. Even a dollar a month keeps these videos awesome. So thanks so much, and look forward to bringing you the next one.